Hey everybody, GT here from GT's Barbecue. Uh, hey, today I'm going to participate in a collaboration uh, with another channel. Uh, my friends Mitch and Philip over at uh, Kitchen Queers. And no, that's not a homophobic slur. Uh, that's what they uh, name their channel. Uh, they have amazing recipes. They have everything from snacks to drinks. So I highly recommend you check that out. And uh, the collaboration is going to be tagged hashtag game day buffet. So I'm going to have a link down below that says hashtag game day buffet. If you click on that, it will take you to a, a separate site that has all of the participants. So you can see what everybody else put in there. So I'm going to get started here. Uh, today, what I'm going to do are some mini cupcakes made out of meat. Uh, I'm going to call them beef cakes. Uh, so I used to have some ground beef. I'm going to make some little cupcakes. I'm going to ice them with mashed potatoes and uh, garnish them with I'm not sure what yet. So uh, I'll get this stuff mixed up here in a second. Stay tuned and we'll get rolling. Okay, let's go over the ingredients I'm going to use for my beef cake um, meat cupcakes. I have two pounds of 80-20 ground beef. I have two cups of, uh, in this case, panko breadcrumbs. I have a cup of chopped onion, uh, one cup of diced tomatoes uh, out of a can. I have a quarter uh, cup of chopped green onions. I have two, actually three cloves of garlic in this case. Recipe, I usually use two, but my wife and I both like extra garlic. So three cloves of garlic. Uh, I'm going to put in one egg and then I'm going to put this on my smoker at um, 350 degrees, probably take an hour uh, or so. And I'm going to put them in this little tin. So it should be cool. It should be different, kind of a bite-sized snack. And I know, go ahead, judge all you want. I'm going to use uh, mashed potatoes out of a box. Um, it's quick and easy. And honestly, they taste delicious. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a sec and we'll get started uh, putting this stuff together. Okay, so I'm going to mix up these ingredients here. Uh, I'm going to put in my egg first. And uh, the onions. Got a cup of onions there. Freshly diced, of course. And a uh, quarter cup of green onions, shallots. Again, fresh. Three cloves of garlic. We're going to put in there. And um, our tomatoes. Got a cup of tomatoes there. Out of a can, but nonetheless delicious. Kind of do a little mix, mix, mix a roux. I usually like to uh, combine my wet ingredients first. Uh, mix those together a little bit. And I don't like to overwork it. Um, the less compact, honestly, uh, the better. So I'm going to kind of put that there. Now we add our dry breadcrumbs and uh, mix, mix, mix a roux. Technical term. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so, you know, I'm just going to portion these things out. I'm not exactly sure how much. I usually use an ice cream scoop when I do my meatballs. So I'm going to do a, a generous um, little overflow of an ice cream scoop. You can just use your hands and you kind of get a feel for it. I just want these things to uh, look like muffins. So enough to fill up the little space and a little bit that um, kind of hangs up. Uh, over the edges uh, when it bakes. So pretty simple. Uh, rinse, lather, repeat. So I'll uh, do some more of these and we'll see what we get. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see 
from up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free these things on the smoker I got the rec tech set at 360 degrees I don't know I guess it's gonna take about uh, probably an hour uh, I'm gonna set it for uh, 45 minutes and then I'll give them a little uh, check I might spin them around part way through the cook but usually those those uh, usually these things don't take too long so uh, oh wow here we go so it's been 45 minutes I'm gonna check the temp and oh yeah they're temping 175 degrees already so these are clearly done uh, they look delicious they smell amazing I'm gonna get them inside and uh, we'll see what we get okay have a couple of our little uh, mini beef cakes out here some of my world-class boxed mashed potato so this is our icing excuse my hand for a little cupcake piping bag would probably be better but I think this is gonna work just a little twist on a traditional meal something I can use for uh, a party snack next weekend so we're gonna start with some uh, mashed potatoes I'm gonna top these with some fresh chopped chives, like so. And then a little syrup, a little barbecue sauce on top. And there you go. So I'll plate these up doink little bite-size beef cupcakes so how cool is that I am gonna take a taste of one of these mmm so there you go it's a meal in one got our potatoes our onions our meat mmm Oh man, that's meatloaf. I've done this a million times before, um, not in many cupcakes, but it's a great recipe for meatloaf. I really enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. If you try it, it's definitely going to be unique. People will talk about it. So thanks so much for watching. If you're so inclined, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.